Hello, this is Tofan Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can apply uh, different materials to your models pretty quickly uh, with this add-on called the Sanctus Library add-on. Now it's an add-on that's got some pretty unique features in it. Uh, it's all presets, so you don't have to do anything yourselves to apply the textures to any model at all. And it's for Blender 4.0, but I'm using 3.4 now. But I've installed it in 3.4, and it seems to work pretty much fine without any issues, without any hiccups. But I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. And the installation process is still the same. Uh, go to Edit, Preferences. Uh, make sure you're on the Add-ons aspect of this window by this being highlighted in blue. Click on install, navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system, click on that Sanctus Library folder, click on install add-on. And once that's been done, let me type in library, uh, put check in the box and it's activated. And it's on the right hand side of your UI of Blender, which is the toolbar. Click there and there it is. Uh, now, all these shaders, it's a lot of shaders, a lot of material shaders in here. There's materials, and then there's GN, GN assets. This isn't, I don't know why this is here, because if you click on it, uh, it doesn't really offer much compared to the materials library that offers quite a bit. That's a, quite a bit, actually. These are all main um, categories of the materials. But with all the categories, there are subcategories. So like, for example, buildings, you click on that the, on the thumbnail, you'll see all these textures here. And with a lot of these textures, they're just not straightforward textures. They're more, they're more like smart textures. If you've ever used, um, uh, what's this uh, program called? I forgot the program that's used to mainly for texturing. Adobe bought them out, but uh, in that program, they had smart textures in it, which means that it's just more, it's more than just one texture in a texture. Like for example, this first tile texture we have, the tile itself, and it's got wear and tear and it's got scratches and grunge on it. And that's a smart texture because it's more textures than just the, the tile texture, which is cool. Uh, we're gonna go through all of this stuff, not all of it, some main aspects of it that really stand out for me. But before we do that, let's get rid of the cube here. With the cube highlighted, press delete on our keyboard. Shift A, we're gonna use Suzanne as an example here. Uh, from the pop-up menu, uh, mesh, left click on monkey. Uh, press on our keyboard so we can zoom in on Suzanne and scroll up on our mouse wheel. And then with Suzanne selected, let's go to our uh, modifier tab, left click on the wrench, add modifier, go to subdivision surface, click on that, bump this up to two, left click on the drop down arrow, press apply, and then left click. And then from the pop-up menu, click on shade smooth. And we're going to change our viewport also. So we're going to change it to something a little bit brighter and also turn it to a rendering aspect. Left click on that icon there. So it's going to be rendering an EV. Uh, Shift A, I'm going to go to lights. And we're going to add some sun to her. I'm going to take the sun out of her and kind of position it in front of her. Left click and drag on the Z axis. Click on this yellow dot to move the sunlight to her face. And that looks good. Press one again, we have a nice view of Suzanne. And we're going to now have Suzanne selected and left click on apply material. And that's one thing that's also good about the Sanctus library add-on. Not all the textures work in EV or in cycles. So if a texture doesn't work in EV, it'll let you know. If a texture doesn't work in cycles, it'll let you know right at this point in time. It says switch to e uh, cycles because EV doesn't uh, render this material. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to go to our render option here. Left click on that. Turn from EV to cycles. And there we go. Um, I'm going to turn my CPU to GPU because it's faster. And hopefully it doesn't crash the computer. Come on, comp, you can do it. Okay, now it's spinning. Uh, let me get back to you guys and let this just render out and I'll get back to you when it's done processing and we doesn't waste anybody's time. Okay, we're back. Thank God I didn't crash. Uh, but let's change the world view to be a little bit, little bit brighter world color and there we go. 
as I said before, it just doesn't add uh, just a plain tile texture. It adds wear and tear to it, which you can see from the wearing of the grout in the middle and the dirt and the grime and stuff like that. And the cool thing about this add-on also is that you don't have to even wrap your model. So you can apply it straight to your model as it is, which I've done to this. Because uh, Suzanne is not unwrapped at all, as you can tell from the process from the beginning. Uh, but let's check out another material here. Let's go to another cool aspect that I've seen with this add-on in terms of uh, just having unique materials. We're going to go to emissions. Let's click on that. And click on the thumbnail. Let's go to uh, LED hue and apply material. And once that's been applied, you press play. Look what happens to the colors of Suzanne. It changes faintly from like a yellow to a red to a green, which is cool. I've never seen a, a material add-on do something like that before. So that's pretty cool when it comes to the Sanctus Library add-on. Let's stop that. Let's check out another emission here, LED Pulse. Let's apply that. Now it's kind of a purplish color. Let's press play. And it pulses between white and purple which is also cool. That's nice that it can do that. Now with these add-ons, as I mentioned before, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but there aren't any parameters to set. Pretty much once you've applied the add-on, it's pretty much plug and play. Now you can go into the node settings and kind of make adjustments there, but they work pretty well on their own, pretty much. They're, they're great by themselves. But let's take, let me show you another thing that this does, another shader that it has that is pretty unique to the Sanctus Library add-on. Left click in there, and we're going to go to Tune, okay? Left click on that thumbnail, let's click on Metal, and Apply Material, and once again, it lets us know that this, this doesn't work in Cycles, only works in EV. So let's go back to our render setting, left click in there, turn from Cycles to EV. And now let's apply the material, and there we go. And then once we hold down the middle mouse button and then we pivot around while moving our mouse, by moving the window, the tune shader interacts with the uh, view, which is cool. And only that interacts with the light. If we left click on our light source there and move our light around, you can see that the tune shader moves with the lights. So that's pretty nice. I've, I haven't seen, there might be shaders out there that do that, when it comes to add-ons for Blender, but I've never seen one. This is the first time I've seen it. I've seen a material shader do something like this, so this is pretty cool. Now, the last, last test I want to do before I conclude this tutorial is see how this shader works when it comes to, um, you know, importing a model from outside of Blender into Blender. I want to see how it, it applies itself to that. So I'm going to go to File. Let me see, file, and I've already set up a scene for this. Uh, open recent, Sanctus Real Toot. Don't save that, I've had, I've got these pants that I've imported uh, from outside of Blender. I want to see how it works. So let's left click there and click on, let me see, where is that shader? Okay, with the add on, oh, there it is. I want to apply a fabric to this and see how it turns out. So change my viewport here to Eevee and brighten up the scene a little bit okay there we go because right now it's got um a shader already applied to it but i want to apply a shader from this add-on of fabric shader to it to see how it works so let's do this one so with this selected let's press apply material oh and it works okay so that's that's good and this is uv unwrapped and it's uh placed the material from the science library it uh, pl placed it properly onto the model uh, that wasn't made in blender so yeah this add-on is it does a pretty good job yeah and that's today's blender quick tip the sanctus library add-on that has some pretty unique uh, material features or material uh, presets in it which is pretty cool um so yeah thank you guys for watching the uh, tutorial and hopefully you'll download yourselves and check it out Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.